the MF 500 for a drive on a flat surface, and we're going to study the operating parameters while it is driving on the left hand side. We've got two pumps. We've got the front pump which, uh, which drives the right hand side of the machine, and the rear pump which drives the left hand side of the machine. This is an actual skid steer loader, hydrostatic drive. These gauges here, this is a, a virtual instrument fan that operates in real time. This has got joystick percentage of uh, activation, uh, left wheel speed, uh, system relief, uh, system pressure, and charge pressure. Right hand side, same thing, RPM, system pressure, charge pressure. We've got the amps, the electric motor amps, RPM for the electric motor, and oil temperature. This machine is available with an electric motor or with a diesel engine. What we're going to do now is demonstrate to the student what happens to the flows and pressures while the machine is operating on a flat surface. So I'm going to start driving forward, and this is driving in real time. See the slope here is zero. Uh, angle of slope is zero. Here we, here we can see again what the pressures and, and flows are relative to operating on a flat surface. Now we're going to go to a, a incline. So we go back to drive time and we select uphill. What this does now is it's going to drive up a hill, but it's going to take it. A, 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 we're going to change the angle as we progress down the road. We'll start out at 5 uh, degrees, we'll move up to 10 degrees, and then we'll go up to 20 degrees. So let's, the idea of this slope is to show, is let the students understand the torque and pressure relationship in the, in the hydraulic motor. So here we go, we're going to be going on. degrees and you can see the pressures ramp up to, uh, to, 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 to uh, compensate for the torque needed for an incline of 5 degrees. Now I'm going to continue down the road and we'll go through 10 degrees. So what we've just uh, witnessed here is what happens to the pressures when we're negotiating an incline at 0 degrees, 5 degrees, 10 degrees, and 20 degrees. Again, the idea is to demonstrate how pressures change uh, to, to compensate for the torque uh, requirements on different uh, angles of incline. All right, now what we're going to do is demonstrate real-time troubleshooting. This transmission is designed to facilitate any kind of fault that you can see, have in a hydrostatic transmission in real time. So we can make the pumps wear out, literally wear out. We can make the motors wear out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drive this uh, up an incline. And while it's going up an incline, the operator is complaining that the machine slows down when, it's, when it is loaded. So we're going to go. Up, up an incline and while it's going up the incline the first part of the incline it's going to be working in satisfactory condition when it goes to the second incline it's going to fail in real time and what we've done to this what we've programmed into this part of the training activity is that we will we will make the pumps and motors wear out uh, in real time so let's go
happens when the failure occurs is obviously now the student needs to troubleshoot it. So basically you, your next stop is to select repair on the touch screen, which brings up the schematic for the machine. Now if the student tests the hydraulic pump with a flow meter and a pressure gauge, if the student finds that this rear pump is defective, if I touch the symbol for the pump on the screen, it actually repairs the pump, it takes the problem away. So the idea is to make sure you troubleshoot it accurately, so now I can test the front pump if it's worn, touching it also corrects it. Again, I can test the left motor or the right motor, again, touching the symbol for the motors corrects the problem. And then if I hit finish, then of course it says you finished the job, there were some components replaced unnecessarily, or it will say you had a good outcome. And then you hit finish, and of course there are other activities that teach you how to troubleshoot the, the hydrostatic drive. The other thing it's designed to do is to teach students how to set up, adjust, do all the adjustments that's neutral, setting the EDC controllers, the electronic, uh, electronic displacement control valves, uh, neutral position, setting the null, checking and setting charge pressures, checking and setting hot oil shuttle valves. There's just nothing like this on the market. Uh, a skid steer loader is the, uh, this machine's only uh, competitor, and as you can see, everything is waist height, everything is safe, and of course, it, it, again, the, 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 the compelling feature here, it, uh, over and above safety, is the fact that you can generate every single fault you can have in a hydrostatic transmission in real time. There is ac absolutely nothing to compare with regard to a learning, a teaching experience that, uh, 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 to the 500. Uh, the other option we have is we have a front end that you can put on here that will be the same as an articulated loader and what we'll do is we'll do a demonstration on that uh, on another uh, YouTube video. So if you have any inquiries for, about this machine, call the Fluid Power Training Institute. We'll be happy to discuss it with you. This machine is on its way to a college in, Ca in Canada and of course we'll build plenty more.